Hey what's up guys, Matt here. Today I'll be reviewing the Lufthansa A380 by Gemini Jets and a 1-200 to scale. Please check the description in case you missed anything throughout this video. All of my social media links will be down there. I pre-ordered this from collectibleaircraftwingsaustralia.com.au. Their, their link will also be down in the description. This is my 13th A380 model and it's my 6th Lufthansa model. Some information about Lufthansa, their operations based out of Cologne in Germany. Their main hubs are Frankfurt and Munich Franz Josef Strauss. They were founded on the 6th of January 1953 and commenced operations on the 1st of April 1955. Their fleet as of the 30th of June 2022 consists of 360 aircraft including all Lufthansa branded subsidiaries in the Lufthansa Group. They historically operated a total of 14 A380s, however they are currently stored with 6 sold um, and they are intended to be scrapped while the 747 fleet is retained. However, recently, an operating change occurred due to returning passenger numbers, and thus a reactivation of eight A380s is scheduled for mid-2023 in favour of a possible adoption of the 777-300ER presented by Boeing for familiarisation prior to the 777X deliveries. They serve 220 destinations, and the former A380 destinations, and I suspect... Some of these, of course, will be starting again. Uh, Bangkok, Suwanapum, Beijing Capital, Delhi, Indira Gandhi, Frankfurt, Hong Kong, Chiklat Kok, Houston, George Bush Intercontinental, Los Angeles, Miami, Munich, Franz Joseph Strauss, New York, JFK, San Francisco, Shanghai, Budong, and Singapore, Changi. And, the, and this aircraft's first flight was on the 22nd of January 2010 and delivered to Lufthansa on the 16th of July 2010. The Airbus engine designation code for the A380s, or well, for this A380, is 41. Let's take a look around the box here. Alright, at the top of the box, Gemini 200, the typical branding, um, a mock up of the aircraft, A380, the registration number, Lufthansa logo. 100 scale diecast aircraft model and the item number for this uh, particular release of this model. On the back of the box, again another picture of the aircraft, Gemini 200, the typical Gemini Jets description and all their links to their social media pages and official licensed product. On the top of the box, the right hand side, the bottom, and the left. Well, it's been a while since I dealt with an A380, and have to be gonna have to be something I'm gonna have to get used to again with uh, trying to handle this aircraft. the model, the stand, and also the gears here. Sorry about all the squeaking, it's the uh, polystyrene. Alright guys, the model is now out of the box, and we're going to start at the cockpit windows on the port side. Alright, so we have the Cockpit wind, windows, window wipers, Peter tube static ports, the Lufthansa logo, Star Alliance logo, because uh, Lufthansa is a member of Star Alliance, which is a group of 26 airlines. MB, part of the registration on the gear door. Lufthansa titles, Airbus A380-800 and Munken. Well, if you didn't already know, Munken is, a, well, is the German spelling of the city of Munich, located in Bavaria in South Germany. It is the third largest city in Germany and is a global powerhouse in finance, arts and science and renowned 
renowned for its annual Oktoberfest. There we have the inboard landing lights. We come to the first of four uh, Rolls-Royce Trent 970 engines. Really detailed, I think these are the um, most detailed A380 engines um, I have seen on any of the A380 models that I have. Right, so let's take a look inside the engines. As you can see there's quite a bit of detail there. Let's see if the fan blades do spin. Yes, they do very easily. There's the engine strike. Number two engine. Again, engine strike on the inboard side. Got the landing light on that wing. Now We'll just check these fan blades also. Yep, number three engine spins, our engine strike again. And lastly, the number four engine. Fan blades spin quite easily, which is good. And again, engine strike. Now we'll just um, take a brief look at the nose gear here because let's see if there is uh, there is um, markings uh, there for the taxi lights, landing lights. Right, now on to the, take a look here at the wingtip. We have the right wingtip. Sorry about that. This brings uh, into better focus. And also the red navigation lights on the port side. And back onto the fuselage. We have the registration number, of course. And the uh, so registration number DAIMB or Delta Alpha India Mike Bravo, and the German flag because Lufthansa is the flag carrier for Germany. And onto the logo on the tail. And I'm just going to take a look at the APU section now. Wonderfully detailed APU section, the uh, clear uh, construction of the APU exhaust. Right now onto the starboard side. And again, we're going to go to the front of the aircraft where the cockpit windows are. Again, the window wipers, Peter Tube Static Ports Lufthansa logo, Star Alliance logo, MB on the nose gear doors. Lufthansa titles, A380, Munken, the aircraft name, uh, the front cargo container door. Again, the landing lights on the inboard uh, part of the wing right there. Number three engine. See all those uh, nice markings to bring out the detail in it. Number four engine, and then we just move on to the raked wingtip. Or I should say, I shouldn't even say raked, I should say split wingtip um, or wing fence. I shouldn't be calling it raked at all. It's definitely not raked. Um, apologies for that confusion. Um, but yeah, like a wing fence. And then the green navigation lights for the starboard side. And 
back onto the fuselage. Again, we have the registration number, the AIMB, the German flag, the rear cargo container door, bulk bin door, and the Lufthansa logo on the tail. Okay, so what we're going to do now is take a look underneath the aircraft. Alright. So we have the nose gear, gear doors, antennas. There's intakes, knacker ducts, the hole for the stand, um, anti-collision beacon, main gears, gear doors, underneath the wings. Actually, just so you can see the detail here, I'll just uh, make it a little bit easier. Here we go. Flaps, slats, ailerons, the all that detail underneath those engines right there. Also have here at the end of this aircraft, it's very, very difficult to handle, like I mentioned at the, uh, uh, earlier. There's the um, fuel dump valve, that second to last fairing. And underneath the wing on the side, got the same. So we've got the Gemini Jets logo, another antenna, although I believe it might not be an antenna, that might may be a relief valve of some sort, and so might this one here also. And going down to the back of the aircraft we have the APU housing doors on the top of the aircraft, antennas, the SATCOM anti-collision beacons, other antenna on the wings, do not walk outside this area markings, flap slats, ailerons and spoilers. Detail on top of the engines, I didn't mention on this wing, uh, which yeah, which is the left wing when we're looking underneath the aircraft, uh, there's also the fuel dump valve on this side, I don't believe I mentioned that. Um, and again, same on this wing also. A lot of detail. Got the um, Wi-Fi box, antenna, and then grey dot on each horizontal stabilizer. They are the logo lights that light up the tail when the aircraft flies at night. And it's always a difficult aircraft to handle. Um, okay, so we'll go through the. Uh, I believe there was a the price seating arrangement for this aircraft. There was just one configuration, which I'll go through it now because they may use this configuration for when they bring this back into service. So, on the upper deck. There was first class, eight open suites, rows one to two. And that is from about here to, well, really that first upper door. And then there was business class, 78 flatbed seats, rows 13 to 17. And that was from, that's, First door to, I believe it was, this last door at the top. So it occup occupied quite a bit of the uh, upper deck. And then there was uh, economy, 
35 seats rows 95 to 99 and that was of course from that the last door to the back of the aircraft and then on the lower deck we had premium economy 52 recliner seats rows 50 to 57 so that occupied from the first door to the second door and second door all the way to the back of the aircraft on the lower deck was economy uh, and that accounted for 330 sorry 336 seats rows 60 to 94 for an, a total of 509 seats that's a uh, pretty big capacity all right so let's take a look at some of the features of the uh, landing gear now so as always landing gear rolls it rolls very easily which is always good to see there is tilt when the aircraft is on its uh, on its rollout rotation and the nose gear of course does swivel Right, so let's take a look at the stand here. Right, so we've got a metal stand with a wooden, like, yeah, wooden look to the base. Uh, there's the, as you can see where it's screwed in, where this piece um, attaches to the bottom of the aircraft. So, so you've got the padding there that does not scratch the model or should not scratch the model when you put it on the stand. Right, that looks really good on the stand. So, um, just a few extra things about the uh, the gear. It's of course magnetic, as is with all, or well, yeah, pretty much all wide bodies uh, for Gemini jets. And I'll put these in the. I'm trying to remember the configuration. I believe it's like this. I may be wrong. No, hold on. It's flat, it's flat. Yeah. Something like that, I believe. Yeah, that sounds, yeah. Anyway, it's, it's similar to that, if not, probably not that pronounced. Uh, that seems a bit extreme, that's probably why it seems off to me. Um, there are the gear doors here to use. If you wish. Here we go. Alright guys, so this is about the end of this review. I hope you have enjoyed. Please leave a like if you did to comment. Tell me what you think of this model. Tell me if you're going to get it. Um, the timing between me uh, wanting to make this review and the latest information coming up with Lufthansa and then reactivating the A380s was nothing but coincidental. Um, but uh, definitely worked in my favour somewhat. And... Yeah, subscribe for more. Obviously, more plane spotting, more model reviews, of course, a lot to catch up on. And share this video as well as other people who know about this uh, model and see if they want to get it also. I would highly recommend it. Um, I, of course, I love the old delivery, but this has grown on me definitely. And on the A380, I think it looks really, really good. And of course, with, like I mentioned, the mold with this, the detailing. Um, that Gemini Jets have put into this mold has you know, increased massively um, over the last few years so I'm really really happy to have this model in particular uh, in my collection just on the detail alone. Anyway guys thank you so much for watching 
and I'll see you next time.